Difference between sciatica and regular back pain. Regular back pain is something which happens in the lower part of the back, which doesn't radiate. It can happen because of muscular spasm. It can happen because of disc which becomes weak. It can happen because of facetal frictioning, that is facetal hypertrophy. Majority of the times you take rest, you do ice or hot fomentation, you take some anti-inflammatory medications and you do some stretches, a simple back pain goes away. But if the back pain is getting transferred to your legs, it is called sciatica. The pain, it gets transferred from back of the buttock, thigh to the legs either in one leg or both the legs which is associated with difficulty in walking sometimes you cough or you sneeze and patient gets increase in the pain because of increased intra-abdominal pressure and even sleeping, sitting is quite painful this condition is called sciatica it happens because the disc in between two vertebras slips behind and starts pressing upon the nerve and that's why the current like sensation passes down in the leg and leads to sciatica where in regular back pain there is no pressure on the spinal nerves and that's why the pain is just restricted to the lower back because of frictioning of the vertebras or maybe just a muscular spasm how do you know that my back pain is serious and i should take medical attention so friends, there are few red flags that you should understand. Simple back pain which happens after a heavy exertion, you take rest, it gets better. That is a very normal phenomenon which you can safely ignore. But certain situations like if you get constant back pain, which doesn't get relieved with analgesics or anti-inflammatory, despite taking rest and doing stretching physiotherapy, the pain doesn't go away. If this pain is associated with fever, night cries, pain is predominantly more in the night and even resting doesn't help the pain to reduce. These are important red flags that you should keep in mind and make sure that yes, this back pain is not regular. Also, if this back pain is associated with fever, weight loss and if the back pain is hindering with your day-to-day -day mobility it doesn't let you sit it doesn't let you walk it doesn't let you sleep then it should be a warning that this back pain is not something muscular it is something beyond that and it is time to meet up your spine specialist and get yourself evaluated